Mystery boxes and mystery packs are some of the hottest things in the Pokemon card world. And today, the legends at PokeCollect sent me all of these mystery boxes to open up live on video and see what we get. This was super clutch of him to send all these out this way. The link to buy these are in the description. Shout out to PokeCollect. Really curious to see what's inside. We've got the VIP box. We got the master tier for a graded slab. And honestly, a bunch of other boxes here too. So, oh, and also, they sent something in this mystery bubble wrap, and I have no idea what's inside. We'll open this last. Let's start, though, properly with the Kickstarter box. Inside of here could be one premium foil, two booster packs, two ultra rares, and then 20 holographic Pokemon cards. So this is nice, especially again, if you're like looking to just like, I guess, kickstart off your collecting. This is pretty cool here. You could get some fun things, some packs, and a bunch of hollows if you're looking to actually play the game or maybe even complete your master set for a certain set. Okay, starting off with this. We've got, uh, oh, are these like the premium foils and stuff? Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, oh, we got the two packs right there. We'll see this in a second. Oh, sick! Immediate hot start with a Rayquaza VMAX gold card from, uh, what, what set is it? I forget what set this is from right here, but that is actually, wow, a great start to the day and a great first pull, okay? And then we've got a pack of brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's open this and find out. Scarlet and Violet is one to the front, yeah. Curious to see if we get any shots at any vintage things today. We've been doing a lot of mystery pack opening so i'm again always curious to see what oh no way <laughs> the full art toxic croak ex dude that's fantastic always curious to see what the best mystery packs in the market are so we'll get a taste of these today okay and then the other pack in here is crown zenith crown zenith in my opinion is the best if not one of the best sword and shield era sets it definitely has the highest hit rates out of all of the sword and shield era and there's i mean some great cards inside to pull so if we can get something another hit that'd be fantastic helioptile Oh, Wailord. Okay. Well, no. Can't hit them all. Okay, and then in this Kickstarter box, uh, and then it's just, oh wait, our hollows. Hold on. I forget. We have our two, or we have one more premium. We have one more, oh, two premium cards. Oh, one's Japanese. Okay, we'll put this one over here. This one is a sick. Okay, it's a Vileplume GX. I think that's Erica, the trainer in the background. Either way, a pretty card, a GX, and the Japanese card that we got is a Meow Scarda, I think this is EX. This is from the new Scarlet and Violet set and generation. So pretty cool. And again, we get our uh, we get our 20 uh, holographic cards in Japanese and English. So there's the first box. Honestly, not bad. Let's go up a step though with a VIP box. Okay, so inside of here, we've got one graded CGC or PSA Pokemon card. Nice. And I don't know if you can read that, but apparently there's a Charizard, a one in 10 Charizard odd for a slab, one premium foil Pokemon card and five booster packs. Oh wow, vintage holo rares one in 10. Okay, this is, these odds are actually kind of nice on this. So let's open this up and see what's inside. We got the top to rip. Now, if I'm not mistaken, PokeCollect does have three PokeCollect. We ended up getting three different, um, oh, here we go. We ended up getting three VIP boxes. So we have a bunch of those to open. So we're going to see what we get. All right. First thing that we get out of this, I'll put the packs over here, is a Japanese Charizard. Oh my God. The Japanese Charizard and Braxton GX. If I'm not mistaken, this is Sun and Moon. Do you know Cosmic Eclipse is this? Do you know which one? Sun, the Sun and Moon era? JT Gilly's over here too. Wow, with the Charizard and Braxton GX coming out hot out of the first one, that's fantastic. And then we've got our pack starting off with, wow, no shot, an Evolving Skies pack. Evolving Skies right now, currently the most valuable, most expensive, most hard to get uh, sword and shield set in the entire franchise, mainly because of all of the amazing alternate art hits like Umbreon, the big Moonbreon, and Rayquaza, hollow slacking. Okay, also in here, we got ourselves a Vivid Voltage pack, which is honestly a great set, one that I don't open much of. Uh, and obviously this guy is the Rainbow Rare Pikachu is what everyone is looking for out of this. And the Shiny Galarian Obstagoon. I don't think I've ever pulled actually the Rainbow Rare Pikachu for myself until now. <gasps> What? No way! Are you serious? Bro, that's that's the top in the set? That's it. That, there's no... There's no way. The Gilly... They, oh my god! Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. Bro, this... I don't know how much this card goes for anymore. I remember at the peak, this thing was flying in price. This is back before alternate arts and stuff even existed. So the Rainbow Rare was the biggest thing, biggest hit you could get. And I've never pulled the Rainbow Pikachu for myself until right now. Literally spoke that into existence. That is insane. Hold on, I need to sleep, bro. Oh my god. That is... That is unreal. That is absolutely unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put that in the back and display that. That is that is the coolest. That is so crazy. And we got a scarlet and violet set. I I, I can't believe we just pulled that. That is literally 
Here, I'll just go through this. That is literally unreal, bro. Well, maybe we can get another hit out of here. Fido, no. And the next pack is Lost Origin. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a fantastic mix of cards from Sword and Shield, and then also, obviously, uh, the new Scarlet and Violet set. But it's cool because these are a lot of different sets, and including some premium sets like Vivid Voltage is older, Evolving Skies is expensive. These are really good when it comes to the packs themselves. And the last pack itself, this looks like Pokemon Go. Cool, it's a Pokemon Go pack. Oh, and they gave a little PokeCollect sticker. Sweet, okay, Pokemon, Pokemon Go is a great set. I'm the, you know, we do Pokemon Go here and there on the other YouTube channel. Channel. And inside this set, we've got the Mewtwo V alternate art, uh, which I've never pulled. Oh, fingers crossed. There's the Radiance. Oh wait, there's a. How do you tell if it's a? If it's a, oh, it's the Reverse Hollow. That's not a Ditto. And Mel Metal holographic. Wow, fantastic. And then all that's left is the PSA. We did get a PSA graded card. It's a Japanese card. And it's, oh nice, wait, no way. This is the, it's a PSA 10, oh my God. This is a PSA 10 RCSV. This was only available, if I'm not mistaken, in Japanese, yeah, pro, uh, right there. Uh, Japanese pre-order for Pokemon Legends right here. Oh my gosh, this is a super rare. I, I have a bunch of these cards actually that I'm giving away on whatnot. The link is in the description. Everything you see on today's video, including this slab and probably the Pichu Rainbow Rare, all of that will be given away over on our whatnot streams where we sell packs, open up packs, do vintage box breaks. Link in the description, check that out. The link will get you $15 free. So, I mean, that is insane. And the fact that we got this in a 10, bro, I don't even know how much this goes for. This is this is insane. That is, that is, that is a huge grab. Oh my God, but not as big as a grab as this. And this just came out of one of the packs in there, dude. Wow. Okay, and that's uh, that's the VIP box. Wow, that's my, my favorite so far. Let's take a break from the boxes and go over to one of these mystery graded cards. This is the master tier. They have different tiers on their website. So inside the master tier, it contains one graded card from PSA or CGC, minimum grade eight, minimum, minimum vintage grade six, and uh, wow, that's cool. English, Japanese, vintage, or modern. This should be good. Let's rip the top. Is this gonna show? All right, this is the back of it. Nice, so it's not like uh, given away. It's an English PSA graded card. And it's going to be... Oh, sweet. Oh, it's a PSA 10. We got the Crown Zenith Pikachu. Wow, that's actually super duper cool. The full art Pikachu. There's all the other Pokemon in, in it, which is like a beautiful, beautiful artwork. And coming in at a PSA 10, this is actually a huge grab. This is really, really good. Okay, that is that is super duper sick. Now, let's go back into the boxes for the VIP box. We've got another one of these. And I mean, we just came off of a very, very hot VIP box. So maybe we get a second one here, which would actually be... Fantastic. Well, we're gonna get a second box, but a second hot one. Okay, there's the slab. All right, let me not spoil the slab. And then here are the packs. And then here is the single card. Remember, we do have vintage cards that we could pull. I don't know if there's vintage packs in these, but this is a Tyranitar. Nice, this is the, actually, you know what? In the English set, this is one of the rarest cards in the entire Paldea Evolved set. So we got it here in Japanese, which is honestly super duper cool. So the Japanese quality, usually much higher than English. If we graded this, it'd probably come back at PSA 10. So that is a fantastic, another fantastic pull. And then now we've got the packs starting off with another Crown Zenith one. Okay, Crown Zenith. Let's see. I would love to get a big hit out of this set just because I have opened quite a bit of it, usually for the breaks though. So nothing for like my personal collection. So this would be it right here. Baltoy, we got the B. Next pack in will be a Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. I think this is... Uh, known as the worst sword and shield set. I'm pretty sure so. I don't know. Let's see a hey, rebel clash Prove us all wrong right here, man. Prove us wrong. Show us why we should have bought you Hatrim. Okay, and then we'll have a lost origin lost origins fantastic obviously with that's the Lugia V alternate art I think that comes out of this set if I'm not mistaken which lost origin or is it the Giratina? I forget. A lot of alt arts in this set. They're fantastic to pull. Can we get one of the... Oh my god, we got the full art boss's orders and a gets the Giratina and a Giratina V double hit pack. Bro, we're on fire right now. Okay, the Pokemon Go set. Let's uh, hope for the Mewtwo V alternate art or a Radiant Charizard. I'm definitely, you know, big Charizard hunter, especially because they're just so good to give away over on the whatnot break, so I always prefer pulling Charizards, but let's see if we get lucky here. Maybe a Ditto, a Barrel, we got the Ambi Palm. Oh my god, and the Full Art Professor's research was really hoping that that would come out to be the one that we're looking for. Also, this might... Is this a Ditto? You know, like the peelable card? Okay, maybe not a Ditto. All right, and the last pack inside of here is going to be a Brilliant Stars pack. I personally think Brilliant Stars is a very, very underrated set. Not because, like, the cards are bad, but because it just doesn't seem all that popular or expensive. This has the Charizard V alt art, the Arceus V alt art, plus a bunch of other things. Oh my god, and you have amazing cards like this, the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, and this came out of, wow, and we got a hollow with that too. And this came out of the, uh, the reverse slot. That's a big rare pull. And then we've got the graded card in here. It's a PSA graded Japanese card. 
Be vintage, be vintage, be vintage. Ooh, no way! We got the Zero Aura V-Star from Pokemon Universe, or V-Star Universe, which is a holiday set, at a PSA 10. That's another great grab, and also will be given away on whatnot. Okay, we've got an Ultimate box right here, which I'm assuming is gonna be a lot better than the VIPs, so we'll do that one next, because we have one more VIP box, again, with the PSA or CGC card. There's hits inside of here, and five packs so maybe we find ourselves something vintage now granted these have been amazing i don't exactly know what these retail for so i would definitely look that up uh before deciding if these are worth it or not oh my god that i if you're an og pokemon collector you know what vintage card that is i know what it is it is an ancient mew card that is just like completely uh originally sealed or, or sealed in the original packaging uh, this is honestly a very fantastic card, a really expensive card, I think, if you hit it in a PSA 10. Although, if I'm not mistaken, these are really hard to get in a PSA 10 because they all came in these sleeves, and this looks like a little bit bent from packaging and stuff. So, uh, that is fantastic. I'm not going to rip this open. I probably will end up, I mean, we'll end up probably grading this. It's, you know what? Let's rip this open. It's, oh, it's just so, it's so cool and nostalgic in the original packaging. We're going to keep it in the original packaging. All right, then we got our pack. So, cool. We got a, ooh, Shining Fates. Oh, my God. Of course, Shiny Charizard VMAX is the big guy to pull in here and a bunch of other amazing shinies as well. So this is great. Man, we've had some really, really good luck to get today. Again, big shout out to PokeCollect for sending these through. Cacnea, all right, Cinderace V. Next pack here, we've got a Pokemon Go pack. And I think that that, uh, that was definitely the first and only uh, vintage item that we've gotten throughout the mystery packs today. So that was nice to see, finally see something vintage out of these. We got the Venusaur and Zapdos from Go. And then up next, we've got a more Lost Origin. Looking for Giratina alternate art is what's coming out of this set. The biggest pull in the house or anything alternate art or really anything Rainbow Rare. I'll take a Giratina V-Star. Anything with my boy Giratina inside. We got Rhydon, Murkrow, Snover, Electros, and we've got two more packs. One being Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet, oh man, what are the big hits in this set? There's the Maridon and Coridons. There's uh, the, I, not the Iono, the Miriam. Isn't the Miriam trainer card and the Miriam alternate art? I think that's in this set here. If it is, that's definitely the big one to pull. Sprigatito, Klefki, and the final pack here is a Chilling Rain or Chilling Pain as its uh, street name is. Chilling Rain is one of the most iconic sets from Sword and Shield because it's when alternate art cards really started becoming prevalent uh, and when everyone started hunting them, but the rates to pull them are pretty low across the board in this set, which is why it's known as Chilling Pain. Oh my God, but we get a gold fighting energy secret rare out of this pack. Dude, the pack luck today has been unprecedented. That is a huge pull, not an alternate art, but still a bat massive win. And then out of our VIP collection box, we do have a PSA graded English slab. Please be vintage, please be vintage, please be vintage. It's not vintage, but it's not bad. It's a PSA 9 Charizard V-Star from the Ultra Premium Collection Box. Uh, these you can't pull out of packs in English. You can in Japanese, though. Um, but these are like promo cards, essentially, but really, really pretty promo cards. As you can see, Charizard is fighting Mewtwo. There's like a bunch of other Pokemon in the background. It's a Charizard card. It's a PSA 9. I'm happy with it. All right, now it's time to open up the exciting one. We've got the Ultra Ultimate Collector's Box. And inside of here, oh my gosh, as you can see, five textured Pokemon cards, three Trainer Gallery Pokemon cards, two Shinies, which could be, wow, some Gold Star or some Hidden Fates. Wow, some really, really rare ones in there. 20 Holographic cards, five Booster Packs, one premium foil and one in 10 odds for being a vintage card and then 10 ultra rare Pokemon cards. So definitely some cool things to pull out of this. Uh, really curious to see if we end up getting lucky with that vintage. It seems like uh, it's been kind of evading us. These mystery boxes and mystery packs seem really, really good for people looking to collect uh, modern Pokemon cards, both English and Japanese. Doesn't seem like obviously vintage hit rates in any mystery box are going to be not that high, but they seem especially low here, but it's because you get so much of everything else, I'm assuming. So, okay, this that box has a lot. So we've got a ton of packs in there, as you can see, and we've got this card, which is a Japanese card, and it's a Shining Charizard. Very nice. The Japanese Shining, uh, the Pokemon Go Shining, or uh, Gold, what is this called? Radiant. The Radiant Charizard, not Shining, sorry. The Japanese Radiant Charizard. That is a beautiful card, beautiful set, and we've got the packs to open up. Let's knock these out, starting with a pack of Silver Tempest, this is where you get the Lugia alternate art card out of, and then a bunch of the other alties as well. This set, I really, really like a lot. I've opened a lot of it, and we opened actually a lot of the set over on the breaks on whatnot, so if you want yourself, 
want to get yourself some of this, we've got it. Now we've got Lost Origin with the Giratina. See if we can click quickly bust through these because again, we do have that bubbled mystery pack to open up at the end here. I do not know what's inside of that. They gave that, I think, as just like a little hello and thank you. Haunch Crow, next one. This looks like, yep, Crown Zenith. Hey man, and also, gonna be honest, the uh, the packs that are given in these mystery boxes are really, really good. We opened up PokeRev's mystery packs and we'll be opening very soon on the channel uh, Unlisted Leaf's mystery packs, Pokey Chloe and Pokey Dean's mystery packs, and some more of PokeRev's mystery packs. There's the Pikachu! We got this one out of the PSA 10 out of the other box. Nice! Well, those mystery packs that we've opened so far, Evolving Skies again, they were fun. The PokeRev mystery packs were fun, uh, but you definitely got a lot, a lot of the kind of like less premium Sword and Shield uh, packs in them, where it seems like with these Poke Collect boxes, you're getting kind of a lot of really, really good packs, and you're not getting duplicates uh, of packs in the same box. There's a lot of variety, and we got, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we got a Garbodor V. That's nothing to get excited about, but we'll take it. So I do like that a lot, and here's the Scarlet and Violet packs. Because out of these, I mean, we got ourselves, what, so I actually quite a bit of Evolving Skies, some Shining Fates, and a bunch of the other sets as well. I guess we didn't see the other premium sets like Darkness of Blaze or Champion's Path, so still lacking a little bit with that. Launcher Quaquavel, but overall, these have been great. Okay, so now we've got a... This is it. This is the rest of the things. These We've got a bunch of premium cards in here. Is there no graded card? Was it? Oh, there's no graded card in this. Okay, so this is just a stack of, of very premium cards. So let's uh, put these over here and go one, one by one. Oh, it's not on the top loader. One by one in the stack, starting with a... Oh, cool. This is... What is this? Is this like a promo Pikachu V? I actually don't know what this is. I'm assuming this has got to be rare because I, I have literally never seen this before. But Japanese card, uh, yeah, it's a promo. In the bottom left, it says promo uh, from, what year is this? This is from 2022. Cool, we'll take it. And then, oh, we got the, this is one of the texture cards. This is the Japanese Fortress EX from Scarlet and Violet. These, uh, these Japanese cards, if I'm not mistaken, are technically cheaper than the English. So it's a way for these mystery boxes to kind of like give you cool cards, but not the more valuable versions of them. So that's cool. We'll take that. And we've got a bunch of other things here as well. Nice, the Lucario V-Star full art from, um, uh, what is this? I think this is from Crown Zenith, I'm pretty sure. That is beautiful. And now we're going to start seeing some of the cool English hits here. We got the, oh, nice, Chili and Salon and Cress. This definitely is a really, really good mystery box if you're looking to get more full arts to complete some collections. There's the Celebi V-Max, also very cool. We'll take that. We got another Japanese card here. Ooh, it's the Mew. It's the Mew card. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. Beautiful artwork. Love the Mew. Followed by the uh, the the duck starter in the Japanese in the gallery card, which is fantastic. We've got the Moltres, Galarian Moltres. I think this comes out of the. Yeah, this is the promo card. This comes from the tins. Uh, so the, the crown's in a tins. That's cool to see. There's one of the shinies. We've got a Radiant Alakazam. I think that's two shiny Pokemon, so that's our, uh, those are two shiny Pokemon that we're gonna get. Oh my gosh, never mind, we've got a Radiant, this is a Radiant Venusaur from the, uh, Japanese Pokemon Go set. That's huge, that's cool, love to see that, followed by the Giratina, Japanese Giratina V-Star, definitely a good hit from the set. We've got a, ooh, this is kind of a, an older one here, we've got the Snorlax and Eevee GX card from Tag Team. Tag Team, very expensive set, especially in Japanese, which I think this is, and it is, yeah, this is great to pull, that's great to grab. Another one, we've got the Trevenant EX. What is this? What year is this from? From 2015. Wow, this is uh, this is from back in the day. This card might actually be kind of expensive. That's cool to see. And followed by Skelleridge EX from the new Japanese uh, Paldea Evolved. We've got the Dark Sylveon. Sick from the 25th anniversary. Oh my gosh, Celebi V. This is actually crazy. We've got the Keldeo GX from 2019. This is Really cool. This is literally an entire stack of amazing cards. Okay, Galarian Moltres V. We've got the Noivern EX in Japanese. There's the, oh my god, the Ultra and the Karazma GX from 20, 2018. So this is an older card as well. And then here we go. Okay, so here are the 20 hollows or the 40 hollows that we get. We'll save those on the side. And that's the mystery box. Wow. Okay, ultimate collection box. Honestly, pretty great. And then now we've got one final thing. It's this bubble package. I have no idea what's inside. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know what they were going to send me. I, we were DMing on Instagram and they ended up just kind of sending me a bunch of things. So a uh, huge shout out to them. Let's rip this open. I think it's a slab in here. What is this? Oh, oh, it's another. What is this? Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. <gasps> cool. Okay, so these are the these are the custom packs. Oh, they, they make custom packs on their side. Honestly, as far as mystery products are concerned, PokeCollect does them really, really well. We've got the EX Generation. Wow, the old EX and the new EX custom pack, a VIP pack, and a gallery pack. And it tells you what it is on the back. Oh, I guess it doesn't. You're supposed to know on the... It tells you what it is on the website, I guess. Okay, well, I mean, these are six, so let's see what we got inside of them. Starting off with the EX pack. This is a custom pack. I don't know how many cards inside of it looks like they're all 
Nice, they're all penny sleeved, which is great. Okay, so out of our EX pack, we got a, uh, this is a Chai Yu EX. Um, oh, it comes in, oh, okay, I get it. It's in one penny sleeve, all of the raw cards are in there. Would like to see them individually penny sleeved, I kind of understand though, because when you like are mass selling and producing things, penny sleeves get really expensive, but it would be nice. Um, so we have the Japanese EX, we got a Magnezone EX, cool, followed by a Bayonet EX, I love the texture on it, and a, wow, this is cool, the Japanese, oh, oh, there's something big, this is the Japanese Slow King EX, and there's something big in the back, it's the Venusaur EX from 2016, oh, this is a, this is a really good pull right here, I actually don't know what set this is from, maybe this is from XY Evolutions, oh, right here, uh, I think that's XY Evolutions in the bottom right, that's very cool, we'll take that for sure. Next pack here is the, actually, you know what, here, let's do the gallery pack first, and then we'll do the VIP pack, I have a feeling that the gallery, or the VIP pack is gonna be the best one of the day, so let's pop these guys out, we've got the Dead NA coming out of the gallery, a Toxtricity, a Deonce, beautiful, nice, got the Galarian Moltres from the Japanese set, and the last one is a Japanese Samurai V-Star, that is an also very cool hit. And the final pack to open up, we've got the VIP pack, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, this has some pretty fire stuff in here, so let's, this looks vintage, no it's not, I'm joking, okay, not vintage, well it's a shiny though, okay, okay, we got a shiny flap to start, but the Radiant Eternitus, is this all like Radiant and Shiny cards? A Vaporeon full art card, okay, no it's not, <laughs> I wonder what else. A Tropius, the Japanese Tropius, and finally we've got an amazing rare Japanese Zamazenta. Another huge thank you to Poke Collect for sending those mystery packs and boxes. Again, their website link is in the description below. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.